Hello Project RS06 players. Now as you are all aware there is currently zero players online and that's because the server is now down. It has been down for over 70 hours now. Now I just want you guys to know that um, as this post right here says I'm going to link it in the description. Uh, it It's down because David was supposed to buy a new server but nobody has ever heard it from uh, from him since you know the server went down. But he was recently spotted, you know, on Moperscape, um, which is the birth uh, of, you know, 2006 scapes. Wait, wait, was it? We saw the birth of before it was. Oh, yeah, but forget what I just said. Um, but he was spotted on Moperscape's website, um, pretty much an hour ago. So. A lot of you might think, because of the 2006 scape thing, um, that David ran off with the da 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 donations. No, he did not run off with the donations because there's barely any donations. If I would were to estimate how many donations there were, I'd say about five thousand U.S. dollars, just because it went from, I guess, three players to what a thousand now in a few days and why the hell would David leave when he gets a giant player surge it's so something is happening but it's not that he ran off with the donations could be that you know he's writing up the new um, the new server or something like that but right now they have no estimate of when the server will uh, come back on they don't know where David is, which, if you don't know, David is the whole um, moderator of the whole server. Uh, the everyone doesn't know, nobody knows when the ser when David will be back, and but the server is down because when it crashed, David decided to buy a better server to handle more players, but again, he was never, you know, heard from since. Uh, no one could do anything about this because um, David owns the server, like it's on his uh, account and computer. Pompano uh, stepped down, so he can't really do anything. And another conspiracy is that is David Vault, and no, because David and uh, the writer of this post were both moderators over at Vault, which is RS Vault on Moperscape. So they saw the birth of 2006 scape and you know when they saw when they shut it down 2006 scape you know they issued cease and what is this uh cease and desist desist is an order to request a halt on activity and not take it up again later or else face legal action so that's, I think, bullshit, because I think 2006 Gabe just scammed everyone. Um, of course, here it says, did David run with the donation money? Obviously, he did not, since that's what it says here, exactly what I said before. Uh, will the server... Will there be a server put up in the meantime? If David was here, yes, because he owns the old VPS which can handle a lot of players but regardless it's still a server <clears throat> um let's see axel informed everyone on rrc that david's home phone would be contacted every hour has no progress been made in that respect we did get a phone number we're working with the admin on moperscape while contacting him so he's not even picking up his phone which is very very sketchy uh did jagex shut it down no because when you press the play button, it's still the play button. Yeah, if Jagex shut it down and they press the play button, and you press the play button on the website, which is like, let's say, hold on, Project RSO6. So <clears throat> if you press the play button and Jagex shut down the server, it wouldn't play the client. Because if they take it down for copyright, um then the whole like you know artwork of this thing that's all copyrighted by Jagex so they would have to take that down too um 
Let's see. Can you access the forum ACP and check David's IP, which is pretty much telling you where he lives and all his information? Then try searching that IP on forums. Already dead, he has no accounts on. So that's weird. Do you know about David IRL? Is he lazy? Maybe he doesn't want to run a server. Don't know why, though, as he's getting a lot of donations. Well, these donations are going towards the server. I hope you know that. He's not benefiting at all. Also, is this unexpected of David? Has he usually been on every single day? Also, what would happen per se? You can't get into contact with him over a week. I do not know David in real life, but I've worked with him on Moper stat, Escape Staff team for about five years, and he's a very skilled programmer who stepped away from servers for a bit. I was surprised when he publicly announced the server because I knew it wouldn't be a mess. He is far from lazy, and I agree. I agree. He made... He made <laughs> the best server ever and he released it in you know a month's time comparing to 2006 game that took years or well, a year or a year and a half to get it to work even <clears throat> if we can't get into contact with him there will be more waiting teardrop but we should be able to contact with uh, get in contact with him I agree there's so many ways to contact someone hmm. why is David the only one with the server. Pompano also had the server before he stepped down. In most cases, multiple people would have the server. But ha he happened to go inactive in a small window of time where only he had the files. This is not permanent and was not planned. We were just caught off guard. Will this ever happen again if there's a lot more people than there is now? No, definitely be, you know, this will definitely be planned for the future, which means after David come, comes back, if he comes back, all the files of the 2006... Uh, shit, sorry, this isn't 2006. Okay, this Project RSO6, duh. All, this, all the server files are going to be distributed among, you know, the moderators, the programmers, and the admins. So there'll never be a problem like this again. Pretty much, it's like saying we don't need David to put the server back up and a time of crisis. Is this part of a scam? If you think it is, then it's pretty simple. Don't donate. No one is forcing you to. Just wait until the server is back up. And yeah, you know, there were many, many, many people joining after it went down. So why would it be part of the scam? Who would donate to a server that's not up? You know what I mean? And I sound very hypocritical because I donated for 2006 gave probably around $2 and yeah but just don't do it you know you'll lose players over this right if you're seriously considering leaving over this all i have to say is bye and i agree having such an amount of selfishness and ignorance towards other people's lives is not such a good thing and my theory on this is something happened to david in real life to make him you know that drove him away from the server and his private contact, let's say, I don't know, maybe he went on a road trip and got drunk. And, you know, woke up in a freaking zoo filled with, I don't know, penguins. And now he's arrested for a trespassing warrant or uh, attempt of rape on a penguin. But who knows, you know. All we have to understand is that even the admins have personal lives, you know. Maybe he's doing finals for college. Maybe he's writing up a thesis paper. Maybe he's, you know, God knows where. I really hope nothing has happened legally, you know, because of the server, but that's all we could say for now. So if you have theories about what happened to David, like I had my whole penguin raping one, please post it in the comments below, and uh, they'll be greatly appreciated by others. And if you are others, then you should definitely look down and read the crazy theories that people come up with. So thank you for watching, and you guys should have a great day, and let us all hope that Project RSO6 will be up soon. Thank you.